If you spend any time looking at winter gull flocks, eventually you may expect to encounter lesser black-backed gulls. These are rather new gulls to North America. They breed in Northern Europe. A few started showing up in winter in the Northeastern United States about 50 years ago. They are now regular in the East and increasing in the West. In the West, lesser black-backed gulls are most similar to yellow-footed gulls. Yellow-footed gulls are restricted to northwestern Mexico. They regularly visit the Salton Sea in southeastern California. In this video, I want to tell you how to identify adults and older immatures and separate these two similar species. The video recordings I show here are from a visit to Puerto Penasco, Mexico. I went down to the beach to video record yellow-footed gulls. When I returned home, I found that I had also recorded two lesser black-backed gulls and hadn't realized it until the eBird reviewer notified me. How embarrassing. As adults, lesser black-backed gulls have very dark backs, yellow legs, and white eyes. This combination separates them from other dark-backed gulls with pink legs such as great black-backed gulls in the east and western gulls along the west coast. Lesser black-backed gulls are the same size as California gulls, halfway between ring-billed gulls and yellow-footed gulls in size. If lesser black-backed and yellow-footed gulls are together, the size difference is usually obvious. Immature gulls of most species have pink legs. When they reach two years of age, the leg color of lesser black-backed gulls becomes yellow and their eyes begin to pale. The center of the back is very dark gray. The dark gray back, scapulars, and wing coverts become more extensive as birds reach adult plumage when four years old. Lesser black-backed gulls usually have strong streaking on the neck and around the eye in winter. In contrast, yellow-footed gulls have a fairly clean white head in winter. Perhaps the most obvious feature that helps separate these gulls is the bill. The bill of lesser black-backed is rather straight and thin. The lower edge of the bill is fairly straight compared to the big, blob-ended bill on yellow-footed gull. It has a massive bill. If you're in the range of yellow-footed gulls, then you're also within the wintering range of three look-alike sparrows. Click on this video to learn how to separate first winter brewers, chipping, and clay-colored sparrows.